Hi, my name's Cathy Millett, and this week we're looking at how do you mix epoxy resin to pour your water. So this week we're looking at how you mix epoxy resin for your water. And it's very simple, so here's how I do it. Now, the key thing is you need to look at your water. In this case, I've got magic water and you can see not a huge amount left in the bottles, um, but it's a two to one mix. This is a much bigger bottle that gives it away. This is a smaller bottle. If you're doing Envirotex light, then they're equal, which makes it a bit easier, but I always mix them in cups like this and they're different size, they get wider as they get up. So you still, I still go through this process. So what do I do? Well, I get my, um, my, my mixing, in this case, I always use a plastic glass because they're cheap and they're easy to dispose of. I just um, put the um, cup on my scales and I turn my scales on. So now the weight of this is not included in the measurement on my scales. So I don't have to deduct the weight of that. And I want to do a two to one mix. And I don't necessarily want to produce a lot, but what I'm gonna do is do probably 25 of this and 50 of this. So I now get just some normal bog standard tap water and I pour it in until I get to 25. Oops, or in this case, 32. Actually looking at that, I think I'm gonna do 30 anyway. So I'm now doing 30. If I turn this round, you can probably see that it's showing 30. And I make sure that I get this dead on 30. So that's 31, so I'm just gonna tip a little bit back. So there we go, 30. And now I get down level with it and I mark the cup at exactly the point where the 30 line is. Yep, it's at the bottom of this. And then I pour in 60, so now I'm up to 90 in total. And I try not to go over on this one, it's harder to pour it out, but you still can. So 83, 90. So there we go, I've now got 90, and I repeat the process. I draw myself a little mark just where the water is. And now I can literally get rid of that water. I quite often just transfer those marks to another cup, trying not to smudge it as I did there. But otherwise you can just dry it out. The trick is to make sure it's bone dry because water and epoxy resin are not the best of friends. So, done with my scale, so I can get rid of that. Oops. And now I just literally put in the one. Again, getting down low so you can see it. This is already slightly yellowy I and mean, it doesn't really show when I'm done. So I put in the one. And then I put in the two. Okay, try not to put the drip in the same place on the cup where you're in danger of polluting your bottles and setting them. So. There we go. Trusty stirrer, now you see these all over the place, McDonald's, Starbucks. I've actually got thousands of them because I got them as a Christmas present one year, which is great. So you literally just mix it. And it's quite easy with the magic water you have to mix it until it goes completely clear. And you can see in here when it's, it's not right. At the moment, it's got a very um, a glossy look to it. And you can see when you stir it that there's trails. That has to totally disappear, which doesn't take that long, but you then need to carry on stirring. And I have been accused of over stirring in the past and putting bubbles in. So I try not to, but you do need to make sure you get from the bottom to the top because the first one went in at the bottom and the second one went in at the top. And if you don't mix them up, you'll end up just stirring the same layer time and time again. So make sure you get everything in, all around the sides, nothing caught up, nothing around the bottom. Now this is beginning to clear. I can still see the few trails. And it's supposed to take five minutes to do this. Now, 
I have to say, I often get bored before the five minutes, but I have had some that haven't mixed properly. So I do recommend you go the full five minutes. And looking at this, you have a decision if you want to put paint in. I normally put in at this point when I'm, I've gone clear. Um, so the, the liquid looks clear, so I know it's more or less mixed. Then I put the paint in. Now I'm not gonna do it at this instant because I don't actually want it in the, um, what I'm gonna use this to pour for. But I've used all sorts. I've used everything from enamels, such as Floquil, through to acrylics. And a couple of drops, I would say, only put a couple in. And, and I mean small drops. You will easily overpower this and make it look like mud. And well, it's not a great look on epoxy resin, a lot of mud. So now it's just a case of mixing. Well, that's well and truly mixed. And now it's ready for you to use in whatever application you want your Envirotex light or magic water epoxy resin to be used. So this is what you get with your epoxy resin. You can do anything from small little dioramas, waterfalls, or even just rivers. This one's a work in progress. This week, the mini Cathy's are traveling in time as they think about the last time they made epoxy resin. Do you remember when we helped Cathy, big Cathy, you know, full size one, mix the resin? Right, we need to help Cathy mix this resin. Come on, guys. I think it's one and a half N scale Cathy's tall. Grab her up, let's get her up there and measure the side. I remember, I remember, I remember, I played key well. Without me, it would all have been wrong. It's, it's half me. Here's half, okay? Half. See, without me, you would have got the wrong amounts in, and then you would have had a big mix that didn't set, and that would have been really embarrassing but it's set perfectly because I'm the perfect height. Yes, and scale Kathy's useful. Woo! Now, it's another me on top. Just, just imagine, bit higher, bit higher. Yeah, yeah, that's it, looking good. But I did the pen to market. You know, that was really hard work. It was, it was really heavy. And then scale Kathy was just going, I did the hard work. I did the mixing. Pour the steady. resin. Steady. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Steady. Oh, no. come on. Oh, 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 Mini Cathy's are back with us again next week. Tune in and find out what they're getting up to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode on how to mix epoxy resin. Um, if you did, then subscribe to me on YouTube. Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Cathy Millet Modelling, or visit me on my website, cathymillet.co.uk.